Campbell. There's no secret. There's no shortcut. Everything that is alive is conscious. Be silent. Be still and know God. Until you feel worthy, it ain't going to happen. Rigorous, ruthless, disciplined focus. You have to get to a place where you can work on yourself. If you are looking to live at the tip of the spear when it comes to health optimization, join my private membership group, Fully Optimized Health. Dot com and get the latest and greatest on hormone optimization, peptides, fitness, fat loss, and most importantly, raising your vibration. Again, go over to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up today. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and of course, you are watching the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my StreamYard virtual studio, which is getting enhancements, it seems like now by the hour. With Dr. Lana Bachmaro. Dr. Lana, it is beautiful to see you. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? It's really lovely to see you and such an honor to be in front of you and your audience. So thank you. It's an honor to have you. And again, as I always say, I'm humbly honored and privileged to have such amazing people and personalities and just human beings uh, who are living in resonance and coherence to be here today. So yes, the audience has a very amazing treat with you today. So let me give you a little bit of your bio. Um, so Dr. Lana is a functional medicine neuroscientist. Mm -hmm. The first one that I've had on this show, because I've had so I'm many functional right. medicine doctors, uh, the founder, CEO, and creator of Think System. And she is an expert in dopamine, executive functions, and neurotechnology. So you guys already know just from listening to those topics, this is going to be a fascinating show. Uh, she works with a who's who list of all sorts of amazing people, celebrities, pro athletes, musicians, uh, executives. So, I mean, again, like, you know, she's normally in the company of, you know, great personalities and charismatic people and individuals. But uh, as I always do now on the show... And, and by the way, for everybody's purposes, today is Thursday, October 20th, uh, 2022. Uh, I'd like to get a gauge of where you think humanity is headed. Uh, you know, I look at humanity right now as kind of at the great fork in the road. You know, we're looking at a collective dark night of the soul from whatever you want to, you know, call it for the last two and a half years. You know, many people have chosen different paths. But all paths lead back to one thing, right? Which to me yeah. is considered source consciousness or perfection. Absolutely. Um, but, but, but where do you see us right now as a species going? You know, sometimes I ask, are you buyer? Are you a buyer of sapiens, sapiens or a seller? So, you know, I'm just interested in your take. Um, that's a very, very profound question. Um, let's fly high here. Um, so... Personally, you know, I, I endeavored on this trajectory of helping humanity, and it was not a choice. It was just plopped on me. I was, um, if you want, I was asked to, to do that, and I knew that my path would be on that level since I was very young. I think it's probably yourself and all of us who are now on the, in the light and uh, lighting the torch for many, many others. Um, I feel like, you know, we're riding on these dragons, you know, coming from Akrasha, you know, riding on a dragon and surfing and getting these dragons to go, you know, and pull maybe millions of people behind us. And we're just surfing on this wave of beautiful, you know, universal consciousness and divine consciousness and going, elevating the humanity through, in my case, through frequencies. I think it's mostly in everybody's case because frequency is all what there is. And, you know, consciousness and humanity are now elevating. We're all elevating. And I think the whole universe is watching us right now. We're the prime show because we have to get to the next level. And I think uh, from what I understand from, you know, uh, people who have some wisdom, like, uh, you know, Billy Carson or yourself or Robert Edward Grant um, and many sages from, you know, Vedic, I'm, I'm a Vedic meditator and the awesome. Vishnu Siddha. And so from all those cultures from long time ago, um, we understand that we're actually this time around, we can make it. And it's, it's this incredibly new yuga, you know, that we're embarking on and it'll be, it'll be at least a thousand years of incredible beauty and light and us who actually understand and are awakened to get to the level where we can actually 
pull this off in a, in a beautiful way where we have been working towards it. And maybe in Atlantean times, we did not, you know, succeed. Um, we have, you know, had a chance of, of growing and then we have fallen. This time, maybe we're merging Lemurian and Atlantean knowledge and all this tech and neurotech. And in my case, it's organic, organic neurotech. I love that. So everything I, love that. I do is humanitarian, is based on organic, uh, sovereign knowledge and capacities. So essentially, uh, organic intelligence instead of artificial intelligence. And that's what I do. That's what I create. I create devices that are technologically driven. They're highly tech, but very organic. So by that means, you know, it means that you are the sovereign being who is governing your own capacities and you are doing everything. You're, you're younging, you're switching your frequencies, you're switching your photovoltaic field. And because of that, you can actually attain to the dynamics of, of divine consciousness and co-create with the universe, with the source. I don't really know what else to say other than that you're in the right place. And now I know why Lance spoke so highly of you. Amazing, literally amazing. I mean, you're. I'm now like, we just connected. You just turned on some more latent DNA. Okay. And now they're firing in me. And I'm like, yes, I love Lana. This show is going to be amazing. No, that, is. Look, look, <laughs> that is fire. everything you just said. Everything you just said, I mean, I'm literally like closing my eyes right now and just channeling this energy, but everything you just said is everything that's happening. Yeah. Like we, as the observer, are the creator of our reality. Every human being has the ability to create their own reality, right? Like the I am consciousness mm -hmm. is divinity. It is the creation. So it's like, if we can understand that it's organic versus inorganic, and that, you know, ultimately, whatever and whomever, you know, let's just call them the parasitic energies, whatever the negative influence on this planet is and has been for, you know, let's just call it millennia. Yeah. You know, whether it was hidden, now it's more overt. Uh, they are inorganic. You know, the, the Gnostics, you know, referred to it as Yaldabaoth or the Demiurge. And it was a, a copy of source frequency. It was a holographic image. And they really are pushing humanity especially the younger generation. You know, I like to think you and I are Gen Xers, but the younger generation has been brought up with these, Lana. Yes. And they can't truthfully, from a frequency standpoint, truly discern and critically think because it's always been done for them. Yes. This has allowed them to, you know, quote unquote, interface with the internet of things. And so Whoever is behind it, and again, I won't quantify it. I don't think in the third dimension it's really us to know. We already know everything and we've chosen to forget. But the, the truth is, is that they want us to become a Borg, hive-minded, connected to the metaverse, because ultimately, and I know you know this, but I'll just speak it into the universe, it's about them siphoning our divine energy, because they are not divine. And they cannot create like we can create. They can only copy, imitate, duplicate. So the only way they can feed off of us is literally to get us, you know, sold and bought in to their, uh, you know, just call it low vibration, you know, buzzing frequency. Again, you know, like you said, AI, non-sentient, non-divinity. Non, um, non non but the funny part is, is that they're tricking so many people because like, and, and you know, that's why I want to focus on what you said. And I am going to get to your points, but I really want to disseminate and drill down what you just said because you said profound things. They're tricking people into thinking that technology is organic. Are you currently suffering from a testosterone deficiency? Are you already using therapeutic testosterone? If you are, go to tottdecoded.com forward slash 10 dash questions and find out the top 10 questions you need to be asking your doctor about therapeutic testosterone. These are critical questions to ask your doctor. If they can't answer them, you need to find another doctor. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree with all of that. I would add on to that, that we, you know, um, we have been indoctrinated for yeah. millennia and uh, we all know, you and I know that. And uh, I think that uh, these young, young generations, they, they, the, the other side has done such great job in hiring Yale University, Harvard, 
you know, all these strategic points, even the companies that have done PR, have created PR for Bayer in the time of Holocaust. Right. I tracked all of that down. You know, as a scientist, I'm very curious. I read the patents. I get scientific about it. And I then hire my own people to even understand deeper than I could understand. You know, because my knowledge stops in quantum physics. I don't know quantum physics, really. Um, So I talk to people who do. And um, it's all really now, you know, if you tie it into history, the true history of the humankind and the true history of our planets, our planet and our multiverse, it gets a little bit more evident, you know, of what has been done. In other words, um, we are seen as a source of energy and food and, um, you know, mainly based on, you know, feeding on fear or other things. And I'm not going to go into other details, but we know what, what that is really with children and all of that. But um, what happens is that we have a choice. And the pivotal and beautiful thing right now about our momentum is that this is the moment when we can choose that we can see how sovereign we are. We are incredibly powerful, much more powerful than we have been actually led to believe. And um, so, for example, what I do, uh, I've endeavored on uh, trying to understand how can we um, open and shrink time? How can we um, get our minds to be more telepathic? Uh, So that, yes, you know, uh, you have to have 5G towers and other towers in order to um, transmit the signal to our uh, devices. But if you have, let's say you're working with Native Americans in Outback Australia, they have telepathy down to perfection, you know, and there is no need for a relay tower because our pineal gland and our uh, pituitary gland, they create this vortex between them. And it's a polarity vortex that kind of works on free energy. And once you understand that, you can actually, you don't have to have limits even within this territory of the planet. You can actually transmit the thought um, via, you know, intrinsic power that we have, our organic power. And it goes into the quantum field of divinity consciousness. And it it just propels a limitless level. And you can do that with, um, I think, telepathy, probably telekinesis at a certain point. Uh, you can govern time on some levels. This is part of what, what we're studying right now. It's so much fun. <laughs> and um, it's all about Jedi mind. So, you know, if you look at, you have Yoda behind, you know, all those wisdoms of, of ancients and, you know, the kind souls that have the wisdom of the heart. That will propel this next level humanitarians and humanity, which will not be in metaverse, which will be in this beautiful, you know, Gaia or multiverse of of our making because we co-create everything with divinity consciousness. So, you know, I think that uh, this technology right now, what I'm doing is just a, just a jumpstart, you know, it's like a spark that we can provide to really accelerate our own consciousness and our own beings into this beautiful uh, capacity that will be limitless and will be much more powerful than any computer right now. Because if you think that way, um, I think Steve Jobs said that, um, that anybody, if you look around yourself and you see what we have around ourselves, somebody has had to think about it and somebody has had to create it, make it. And that somebody was probably less smart than you are. Right. Right. So if we attune our hearts and our minds and our guts to the multiverse and to the divinity consciousness, we actually can change a lot. And we're co-creating then with divinity consciousness and we can become incredibly powerful. We are already. And we can, you know, reverse the aging. Aging is just fiction. Right. Um, all of that. But once you understand and you really own it with your full heart, then you can go to the next level and be you know, be the powerless, powerful, you know, powerful, limitless Jedi. Amazing. Like I said, everything that comes out of your mouth, I'm very silent. Very few people make me go so silent. You You are literally amazing. Well, I want to actually unpack what you just said about the Jedi, because as you know, every Hollywood is, you know, entertainment is the cipher for truth, right? But it's always shrouded. It's universal law. They always have to announce what their intentions are. They know what they're going to do to us. But again, so few people are conscious enough, but the Jedi, the Jedi and the Jedi, the Jedi were the wisdom teachers in Atlantis. 
In fact, after whatever you want to call it, the fall, the flood, all these things, that's who escaped and, you know, went into the land of Chem. You know, Billy Carson, you know, good friend of mine, you know, Decoders of Truth. Uh, we talk about that in one of our episodes, but the Jedi were the wisdom teachers. So you and I and P and Billy Carson, and there's thousands of us now, maybe even millions, we are the wisdom teachers, right? Like our soul, you know, our consciousness has been around. I like to think the Al Pacino comment, you know, he's like, I've been around, you know, these eyes have seen, right? So it's like, that's who we are as souls. And we just keep, you know, incarnating and incarnating and incarnating until we, like you said, we get to this junction. You know, a lot of people want to call this, you know, every 26,000 years and who knows, you know, time doesn't even exist outside of this time space anyway. Yeah. So who knows really what the timeline is, but yes, people like us are the Jedi. We're not Jedi, you know, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg are master 33rd degree Masons, right? So they're, they're telling us part of the story. And it's up to, you know, again, those of us in resonance and coherence to actually discern the truth from the error. And there's always a lot of truth. I mean, they put a lot of truth in all of these movies, right? But you have to be able to consciously uh, discern what is truth and what, is, what isn't. And again, it goes back to, and we are going to get to your amazing technology here in a second, but it goes back to the youth. And again, I don't like to jump on them because I know there's outliers and I know there's great ascended masters, you know, who are in their early twenties right now, who are completely like, wow. And I thankfully have a couple of them that work for me. Uh, but, but the truth is, is that, um, uh, but it, it, it really has been about suppressing our, you know, ultimate, uh, you know, inevitable outcome, which is humans do rise to a frequency where all of the matrix ends. Yes. And that's where we're on right now. And again, people like you with your technology, you know, people like me and the many other people like me who are out there, like you said, fanning the flame, uh, they can't kill us all no. and they cannot suppress the frequency of coherence. They cannot do mm -hmm. it. You know, it will, the you know, you have the hundredth monkey, you know, you have what Hawkins talked about when a hundred people are vibrating in love, it has the potential to, to raise the frequency of a hundred million. Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't really matter what they do ultimately, doctor. I mean, they, we will get there. I know I always tell people when they ask me, um, Jay, are we going to truly have the golden age? It looks pretty bleak. You know, it, or, or, you know, you say you're a new earth architect, you know, when are you going to build the new earth? And I'll say, Hey man, it might be this time. It might be the next, but it's going to happen. It's happening. That's exactly happening. right. That's and exactly it's up right. to us to accelerate the you know trajectory and accelerate the time, which we can actually. That's right. And we are the reality creator. So you know, you don't have to pay attention to the matrix, you don't have to pay attention Absolutely. to the narrative. I always tell people if you were just creating all day long, like you and I are doing right now, and you weren't paying attention to any of it, would it really affect you? And it's like when you're really in creation mode, the only way you can affect it can affect you is if you allow it to affect you. And, and how you allow it is by clicking on a tweet that someone sends you or clicking on an IG post that someone sends you or whatever, because then you're sucked into that energy field and that distortion. And then you're pulled into it. Cause again, it's all vibration. It's all energy. Everything is. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. I wanted to show you something that would prove that time is irrelevant on some levels. Okay, so that's where we'll go. So the rest of the show is about your tech. And I know you have a, a presentation, a slideshow, but the first point oh, is... Oh, it doesn't have to be all... I'm just, um, I just wanted to chime in with something very oh, specific. Oh, please. No, do. Uh, because, for example, we're we're used to thinking that um, that for if you, if you concuss your brain, no? Um, and I, I just had recently a car accident. I've had three third degree concussions in my life. So yes, yeah, speak about oh, concussion. I do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd yeah. be honored. Um, I, I, I used to be aggressive skier and um, I had massive concussions, but recently I had a frontal collision wow. and um, I literally could have died and totaled the car and, you know, really sturdy car. And um, in one hour, I just rehashed myself on my system and I was seeing patients in the afternoon. Wow. So usually after a massive concussion, you have to be in, you know, you're in stupor, you're in, in sluggish brain and brain fog for about, what, a year sometimes? Oh, yeah. So I wanted to share something, if that's okay, if you would. Yes, absolutely. This, uh, this pilot study that we ran, we our new study, our recent study just came, uh, is been accepted at, at Nature. But I'm going to show you wow. something that 
uh, might be of interest here. And now we have 117 traumatic brain injury clients. They all, these are data um, before and after one hour, like literally after one training. Wow. So this is how the you know anxiety decreased, mental fog went away, and mobility went away. And we have that documented in videos. And so this is, this is like stats. But if you go in videos, you can go three slides down, down and you can see this gentleman who is in a wheelchair. This guy? First one. And this is how he came to me in a wheelchair. And he was not able to get up. Wow. You have to go kind of a little bit up and left. It's hard to click, I think. I'm trying to uh, – I see it's like a link right here, but for some reason – You have to click here somewhere in the lower left corner and then just maybe on his left leg, click on his left leg, and you will see it will get – Oh, yes, I see it. Yeah. See, as now you'll see how he's having a hard time getting up. And it took him probably like a minute or two to get up. And so He has a TBI? He has had a car accident okay, uh, years ago, and he was basically – mostly paralyzed and mostly really not even very sharp anymore. And, and this is just with one treatment? Very tough. So, st yeah, skip to the next one, 30 minutes. Which we took uh, Okay. And just, yes, the same. That's him after 30 minutes. How do you feel? Okay. You want to go back? And then the third one is him after four sessions, at each session about 35 minutes. Should we still count the time? Wow, look at that. Thank you. So, so I can use like, a thousand words, no? The office. And then you can go down slide lower to this young gentleman. He's 24. Oh. No, just, yes. Yep. The first slide here. Before the training, he he is 24. He had, I think, a car accident and broke his back and was not able to function. He was really in pain daily, three times a day. So you can click on that and see what he says. I always ask people to describe themselves, what happened to them. Can you hear it? Yeah. Is the volume on? And that's what I want to release. I myself. Okay. Um, I also broke my back mm -hmm. and got in a car accident. Um, so I believe there's nerves in my head that um, have malfunctioned. Are you experiencing um, pain still? Yes, a lot on the left side. And what do you um, have, like headaches? Yeah, yeah. How frequently? Maybe two or three times a day. A day? Yeah. Are they strong? Yeah, they are. We'll fix it. <laughs> so he's having migraines. Yeah. But this is him after literally one session. Come on. You have to go a little bit up and to the right. No, nope. a little bit down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. My question is better. I can see color more. My thoughts are clearer. I, I, it's clear. I, I don't know what else to say. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Flowing everywhere. Head gets elongated because the suturas on the cranium open. You can see the third picture is after next day, basically less than 20 hours later. Unbelievable. Is there a video on that one or no? Yes, there is a video there. You can just the same thing. You have to click on the a little bit of a right side, like next to that fish on his shirt, a little bit up, maybe next to his chin, it'll appear. Ah. Yeah. How are you feeling? How was your experience? I feel energetic. Um, my eyes are realigning together. Yeah, strabism went away quickly. Fine. Um, <clears throat> my eyes are realigning into a straight line. Okay. I can start to see more, um, more depth perception. I can see better. Um, let's see. I want to say something. Yes, please. So I, I see things energetically. Yes. And I actually see from picture one to picture four, or picture three, excuse me, 
his higher self is actually now expressing in his countenance. Yes, yes, yes. And you can see the slide underneath. That's him a year later. Uh, uh, see that? Yes, that's the same gentleman a year later. And you can see you. what he says. He's a psychic. So he, he's a professional psychic and really amazing. He, and he was a professional he, psychic before or this is after the treatment? He became much more psychic. <laughs> of course. That's what I saw. I like, okay, much I'm much seeing more. that. That's amazing. So take, a, take a look, if you would be so kind, please. Um, click on the slide and you'll see what he says. Hey, everyone. I am Oliver A. Wisman, and I am a psychic seer. On my first session with Think Technology, we were able to clear and release six years of chronic and press rise headaches that I used to have three times a week. And with the first session and more sessions that I've had, we were also able to reduce and completely remove my dyslexia, ADD, and my auditory processing disorder. With these being removed, I can comprehend and retain more information than I have ever have been able to before. And with that being said, I am a psychic seer and I have been able to see further into the future, the present, and even the past than I ever have been able to before think technologies. So thank you, Dr. Lana, for everything. And I can't wait to see what's next. Yeah. Amazing. That's so, so amazing. I almost have tears myself. It's beautiful. So these effects stay with you, you know. And these are some professional, you know, professionals and professional athletes who really, this kid was recruited then by UPenn and, uh, you know, for baseball, I think. He is very, very happy. You can, you know, those are all videos, but you can you can skip down to the you know like uh, testimonials of NASA and because I work with with a lot of interesting people. And um, anyway, that's that's what happens. Um, you know, it's really very very easy um, to to get to the point where you can actually um, you know be a Jedi in a in a no time no space. Literally, absolutely amazing. Are you using therapeutic peptides? Are you a new user, maybe an advanced user? Maybe you're considering starting peptides. Highly recommend going to the link right below, thepeptidescourse.com forward slash 10 dash mistakes and download my PDF and learn what not to do before starting therapeutic peptides. Um, I'm no, me the chance to share this yeah no of course i mean i'm i'm fascinated so i mean i have a million questions um so how does someone first off like work i mean how do just i mean i've never heard of this other than just lance, lance reaching out to me and now obviously talking to you uh, i mean i did a little bit of homework but um like how do you guys market this technology well why don't you talk a little bit about the technology because you haven't i mean are you allowed to <laughs> Is it yes, yeah 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 it's we've been around for 15 years now and uh, we're about to we're actually selling a license to uh, so you know a good sports team or a good you know people for example traders or people business team who need to operate very quickly in milliseconds it is it is it is a capacitor that builds your own capacities non-invasively and it stays with you. It's, it's done. The full, full cycle is literally five sessions in like four days and one hour only. So it's very quick. Um, it's, it's sharper than LASIK surgery. You put um, a little, you know, a little headset on just like very simply on your head and you view the screen, which you co-create a game with your own mind and the algorithms on the screen in real time. And um, it, that stimulates a lot of your retina and your dopaminergic systems so that it, it actually activates nervous vagus and equalizes the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system, meaning that it, it just jives the capacitors of nervous vagus and which then in turn activates everything else. Uh, it balances your dopamine and your serotonin. And uh, so you become happier, more peaceful. Anxiety goes away immediately after the first session. Uh, PTSD goes away. Um, so it's, it's really much more effective than ketamine treatments or much more effective than than like uh, implant surgery for Parkinson. Or um, yeah, it's just very effective and, and it stays with you. It stays because it's like learning a new language. If you learn a new language or if you learn to walk, 
um, when the baby learns to walk, it takes a long time. This in with system that we have it takes only like an hour or two. But if you have um, a young child who learns certain things, they will not regress. You know, once they learn to jump, they will not stop jumping. They will enjoy jumping and learning. You know how to run. Uh, they will not go crawling again. You know. So that's exactly the same principle. It's very natural and very organic. So, do you, so is the technology, do you license the technology to other people to use or is it something yes, where they have use, to come use, into? Um, yeah, that's one thing that from business point of view, that's what we're doing right now. My company is called Think Interfaces and it's thinkinterfaces.com. Um, and we can, you know, once you edit, you can put it down and uh, so the people can see it actually. And I can be reached uh, via email, um, Dr. La Dr. Morrow team um, at thinkinterfaces.com. And um, so it's, you know, I'm pretty um, easily accessible. My team is pretty easily accessible. And what we do, we go either to cities and we hold these seminars for like uh, maybe five days where we open with a talk and then we have, you know, eight or 10 people that we can train. Or uh, we are, you know, seeing people one-on-one -on -one here in Austin. I'm in Austin. I work out of Alive and Well. And um, that's, you know, very easy. Uh, I can also work virtually with people because, of course, you attach to the quantum. And, in fact, if you would like to do it, I can certainly help you with that too. Uh, you know, so before meeting you, we can, we can definitely do it uh, virtually as well. Um, and um, it's just very pleasant, very effective. Um, it takes away stress, PTSD. It makes your brain really sharp. We have the data for increase in um, productivity. Uh, we followed people from JP Morgan with uh, Garmin. Um, and, you know, so we, we know that it works. We know that it works really effectively and well. And, and the effects are long lasting. So that's, you know, what I can say about it. It's, it's fun, too. Do you, um, so, I mean, I have so many questions. So I have in my home and I've only had it for about three weeks now, but I have the Rasha. Are you familiar with Dr. Jerry? Yeah. Okay. So I have the Rasha. My wife and I use it a lot. Um, I, you know, my personal opinion, and I'm obviously saying this publicly right now is uh, there's great frequencies and then there's frequencies that literally are distortive again to me, right? Like my ears, my sonic frequency, like harmonizes in certain uh, let's put Hertz, I guess, frequencies or, 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 or wavelengths, but, uh, it's interesting because like, I'm fascinated by this. So, I mean, like, if I can ask you, like, is this something that, you know, uh, do you have to be like extremely, um, I, I won't say wealthy, but, you know, uh, affluent to utilize this technology or are you guys making it available to pretty much the yeah. common person? I mean, it's not the cheapest thing, but we can sure. pay, you can pay in, in installments, but it's not hugely expensive. Awesome. And um, and we're also building now the technology. You know, I self-finance everything as an entrepreneur. Nice. So um, I am planning now on um, the moment that this license sale comes in. Um, I'm also, I have a few shows on Gaia television. Awesome. So people have been very supportive there, incredibly supportive, very beautiful community. And, um, and I was cool. talking to Jason Shirka recently as well. So, you know, we're we're getting to be known a little bit more. I've been in stealth mode for a while by design. Sure. Um, yeah. So now that we know what's going on really and we have, you know, we have no side effects. And I can tell that with certainty now because 14 years of, uh, you know, practice, we, we know what it is. It takes away autism really quickly, like in, in two sessions. I was really um, going to ask. So it that. helps. My, my goal is really, I'm a humanitarian. My goal is to create these organic intelligence devices and systems and, and environments where we can actually help millions of people. And I'm hoping that I will have, you know, a batch of scholarships that I can give to people and that we can make it um, for in-home use in about two years. And that we can actually get to the point where we can give people um, you know, these devices even for free, you know, and as you know, certain things ramp up after a while. So, uh -huh. so thank you for sharing. Thank you for, um, you know, being kind about it. But I think it's a humanitarian effort where we all pitch in together and it's all, you know, it takes a village. Yeah, it takes a village. Well, I mean, like, so, I mean, like, you know, as a, as you know, as Jay Campbell, right. Like I'm always thinking about like, cause I'm like you, right. Like I want to share this with the masses, you know, I mean, I've, yes. you know, sold more Rashas than anyone on planet earth. Right. So yeah. like, you know, 
I want to, obviously I want to experience this myself. Absolutely. I would be honored. It would be yeah, like- you and I can talk off air, but I mean like, you know, my bigger picture is like, Oh wow. Like, you know, once my wife and I experience this, like, how can I help you, you know, push this to the world? So we'll talk off air, but I mean, this is, Thank you. this is so beautiful because like I continually bring and I'll let's just call it harmonize individuals like yourself, you know, into this field of whatever this is, you know, again, you know, my, my ego has Jay Campbell and your ego has Dr. Lana Bachmaro, right? But we're like ancient souls who had who knows how many we names, leave our egos behind how many names we had. You know, I always laugh because it's like, that's the name I use now. But like, uh, you know, let's just call it, you know, the Jay Campbell podcast is bringing all these amazing people together. And so such, it's, I mean, I have such amazing gratitude and such, you know, I'm so surrendered to this. Yeah. I mean, again, we were supposed to do this a couple of times. And, you know, the universe, for whatever reason, was like, no, it'll happen when it's supposed to. You know, I always use the statement from Dr. Hawkins, and I've actually added to it. Hopefully, somebody from the Hawkins, uh, you know, what are they called? Uh, Veritas doesn't listen to this because they'll probably sue me. But, you know, he has a statement that says uh, everything is happening as it's divinely intended in all ways. Right. And so I've added everything is happening as it's divinely intended always and in all ways. Oh, and it's like if you think of that statement whenever you are in uh anxiety let's just call it resistance yeah instantly that awareness will let you drop whatever it is that you're struggling with or fighting in the matrix because it's always it's always around money you know yeah. lance and i always have these deep conversations but it always comes around like protecting your money, growing your money, making more money, paying somebody. I mean, it's insane how the money magic system, which as you know, is a Babylonian dark magic ritual. Yeah. You know, especially with debt. Yes. Especially with debt servitude and debt usury and all of this stuff, you know, fiat currency has no value. I mean, you know, we could go on, but it's always that. And so it's like, if you use that statement, there's no way that you're going to have a problem because you're going to realize it's like, hey, I'm just imagining this, like the stress that I have, I'm creating. Yeah, yeah. Well, love is the currency and the consciousness is the currency and this yeah. Babylonian system should go away. That's exactly right. I mean, it's exactly right. I mean, we, we talked about the aboriginals. You know, we talked about the indigenous. I mean, these people don't care about any of that because it's a construct that we invented. Let's just call yeah. us, you know, the matrix, the the parasitic energies that you know enslave yeah. the majority, they invented that construct. Absolutely. And we need to be in the flow. You know, once you're in the flow, so this is what think really does. It elevates your consciousness and gets you to the to be in the flow like a Jedi. And so I, I always kind of um, tell people, you know, we're actually creating a Jedi mind. You're co-creating it with the system because it's all one organic. Um, you know, cycle. It's all, it's mostly made with crystals and uh, crystalline frequencies. So it's really, even though crystals are not organic in our periodic tables, I believe that they're, you know, sentient. The yeah. universe is sentient. Absolutely. And so the way that uh, those two physicists, astrophysicists from Cambridge, uh, what was it, two years ago, they have actually finally proven through mathematical formulas and understanding through physics that the universe is conscious. That's right. Totally yeah. conscious. And yeah, everything's alive. I mean, we, yeah. we would be really not very, very fluid or very open in our hearts if we had not uh, felt the universe being conscious. You know, we're always, call it God, call it the uh, source, call it whatever you want to call it. But it's just, um, you know, the moment we are in the flow with, with our heart open and flowing in this beautiful synchrony and synchronicities, uh, between our, you know, again, gut and and heart and the mind, but also I think in my my from my perspective, I like to talk about photovoltaic cloud. We're a cloud of information. We're photovoltaic right. beings. You know, we're made out of photons, so we That's are right. the light. And That's it's right. not just a prosaic, you know, phrase. It's like we are the light. We're photons, That's and exactly so we right. light up our heart when we light up our life. Everything flows, and we're in the flow with the divinity consciousness, and then staying in the flow. Money doesn't have anything to say. You know, we're all just going to go, grow into abundance. I was actually talking to Lance about it, and we we agreed on that because it's once you relax and you stay in this beautiful flow, you are, you know, invincible. You're just in happiness all the time. 
So beautiful. Um, I want to share a story with you really quick. I don't care. I know I'm going to be late for my next call, but who cares? This podcast is so amazing. Uh, so when Monica and I and another couple went to Peru in 2019, um, we made a ceremony on Lake Titicaca with our guide who was a Czech one, you know, indigenous and, and not plant medicine. People always ask me, oh, what plant medicine? No, it was just an actual you know, the, the leaf, the indigenous leaf right there in the Atipano, I forget what it's called. It's like the Wrigley leaf or whatever, but, um, the lake Lada came alive and all, and literally all four of us, along with our guide, we were in the water about, you know, up to our knees and it kissed us. And all four of us, including our guide spontaneously started to cry like tears of joy. And it was just pure love and frequency of consciousness. And, I started to study the Czech one and the um, Inca, you know, from a spiritual standpoint, and I got really, really deep into it. And they actually have a word for it, which is called Ani. And Ani is also, a, you know, no, no, no coincidences, only synchronicities, but Ani is also Ani in Japanese. And so literally the actual spiritual inheritance of human beings, it's not religion at any fact, that's all invention, but the real spiritual inheritance is on every continent. And the, the belief, and it's really not a belief, that's a, that's a weak word, it's a knowing, um, is that everything is conscious, everything is sentient. Absolutely. And everything is a projected or a projection of your internal. So you are a mirror to everything else around you. So yes. once I started learning all of this, like I realized that like even if you just throw a wrapper from a piece of gum onto the floor, into the wild, it, anywhere. And you litter, you're literally desecrating conscious, sentient life. Yes. And, so, and so you have to get to a place of like, again, where that awareness or that knowing of like, everything is the same. And so when you do something that, you know, desecrates your little spot, you're desecrating the environment or the planet or the universe, because it's a ripple effect. Yes. So it's, it's so true. I mean, like, and, and again, all of that stuff is out there. It's just been occluded again because of the mainstream parasitic energies or whatever. But Lana, this has been such a profound podcast. I'm so yeah. grateful that you came on. Um, so guys and gals, for That's all of you guys watch this amazing podcast, of course, always support the people that come on, you know, go to her website, which is thinkinterfaces.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Connect with her through there. If you are someone that is suffering from any kind of, you know, brain injury, TBI, concussive. Uh, if you are a family that has autistic children, I mean, I can go on and on and on. Please reach out there, go to their website. Again, thinkinterfaces.com. And of course, remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see all of you guys very soon. Thank you.